Okay, so welcome everybody. My name is Alexandra Arellano. I'm going to talk about the School of Human Kinetics and the undergraduate programs. I'm associate professor, but I'm also assistant director for the undergraduate programs. So I will present for like 15 minutes. If you have questions, you can ask them in the chat room. I will try to answer them at the end. And I will also be at the booth. So if you have any questions, you can come back after uh, for, the, for the chat rooms. I will be there for three, from 3.30 3 till five. So hopefully I'll see you there after two. So just to give you a little um, situating the School of Human Kinetics here, we are part of the Faculty of Health Sciences and we have five schools in the faculty. We have nursing, nutrition, rehab, health sciences and human kinetics. So this is all independent schools with their own uh, profs, staff and programs, right? So uh, this is a big family, but we all work independently. So the mission of our school is uh, we have a very good uh, reputation for our teaching, but also uh, we have world leading experts. We have a really good team of uh, researchers and internationally recognized research groups. I will tell you a little bit about uh, the profs and the teams we have for the different domain groups. This is our executive group. So three professors that work at the exec executive right now. So we have the director of the school, Michael Robidoux, myself here as a assistant director undergrad and Aaron Cressman that is also here today for present presenting about the graduate studies uh, opportunities we have in our school. So you will see we have 33 profs and our programs, all the programs I'm going to, to present to you are multidisciplinary. So if you start a program with us, you will have courses in all these areas. So in biomechanics, this is our uh, team, biomechanics, uh, exercise physiology, this is our team. We have, uh, you would have courses in motor control as well, in psychology, pedagogy. This is our big team in sport management, also in leisure studies, our team, and in social cultural studies. Some of these domain groups are interrelated, uh, but if you are, as you can see, we're all interested in the same. We're all interested in health, physical activity and leisure and sport, but from different lenses. We, we, so you would have really a wide variety of courses in uh, these areas. So what are our programs? So you can choose between two general streams. You can choose BHK, which is uh, Bachelor of Human Kinetics with an emphasis on social sciences. You would have courses in, in physiology and motor control as well, but more courses in, in uh, history, sociology, leisure studies, psychology. So the more emphasis on social sciences, or you could choose the stream, the BSc, which is emphasis on biophysical sciences with a little bit more courses in uh, biophysical sciences. So if you choose the BHK, you can choose to do the general stream, or you can specialize in management and governance or in intervention, promotion and community programming. So if you're interested in teaching or in coaching, you take this one. If you're interested in sport management, you take management yeah. governance, or you can go general. You have time to choose because everybody does the same, group, the same courses on the first year. So you enter the general BHK and during your first year or even second year, you can choose a specialization. So you will see the profs, you will see the, 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 the courses, the, the, the content, and you will uh, decide whichever you're interested in. You have the time and, and it's really flexible once you are already in one of those programs. If you choose the BSc and you get a a spot in the BSc, you can choose either the general fundamental studies in, uh, in movement sciences, or you can also choose applied studies in kinesiology. And this is a new program that started in 2019. So it's, it's fresh. 
and it's um, we have a big demand on kinesiology. The, the the profession of kinesiology is becoming more and more recognized. And so, if you finish your uh, BSc in this option, kinesiology, you will have direct ent entry to the arcane examination to become registered kinesiologist and have your yeah. own um, office and, and, and you can practice as a kinesiologist within the province of Ontario. You can also uh, practice in other provinces, but we are affiliated and recognized by the the College of Kinesiology of Ontario. So this is the, where it leads you for uh, the option on applied studies in kinesiology. If you choose any of these programs, any of these options, you will have the opportunity, everybody will have the opportunity to choose on your fourth year between an internship or a research project. These two capstone courses last one year. So if you choose the internship, you'll be able to uh, work within an organization, sorry, within an, within an organization for 120 hours during one year. It's a course. And so we have a lot of possibilities with internship with 100, over 150 partner organizations. Because we are located in the national capital, uh, capital region, a lot of the, the seat of these organizations are in, in Ottawa. So we have really good uh, opportunities for internships. So if you don't choose the internship, if you choose the research project, which is another one year course, fourth year, this is also a great opportunity for you if you're interested in graduate studies, particularly, not necessarily, but a lot of our students choose research project to, um, to get, gain a, a research experience. So you would work with one of our 33 professors. So you will have plenty of time within your three-year degree to see uh, that you fall in love in, with biomechanics, with one particular um, theme and you, you are interested in working with one of these professors for a research project and that would really give you a, a good experience to prepare you for graduate studies in different areas. And so we have a presentation if you're interested here today as well on our graduate programs. So this is also um, a program that ends with a conference with a research day and you will have a good experience in presenting at a conference with a big audience or presenting a poster of your own research. So this is really great opportunity to continue uh, graduate studies. All our programs also have possibilities to, um, to go on international exchange. So the University of Ottawa has a lot of opportunities, different countries where you can travel, but in our school particularly, we have agreements, specific agreements with different universities in Australia, Norway, and France, and even Belgium that is not written here, but Belgium as well. So it's pretty, um, it's agreements that exist already. So it's pretty easy to, for you to spend a semester in Norway and another semester in, in Australia, for example. It's more difficult if you choose the kinesiology option. I would say it's, it's not possible, unfortunately, because you'll have too many compulsory courses and the, the equivalence would be more difficult. But for all our programs in general, it's pretty um, uh, well established. We can uh, have these opportunities for international exchange. All our courses and all our programs are offered either in French or in English. So you can switch, you don't have to stick to one language, you can switch in between or you can, so all of our courses plus programs are in both languages. In terms of uh, career opportunities, so on the stream social sciences, uh, we are, are, are um, graduates and in the in opportunities of uh, sport recreation management, health and well-being promotion, coach, teaching, education, or graduate studies. We have a lot of, a good percentage of our students that end doing 
uh, graduate studies because they realize, I mean, before going and while studying, you discover so many things, you can do so many areas. And, and in terms of research and in terms of um, uh, training uh, the, the graduate school as well, you see, you will see we have a lot of, all of our domain groups of expertise offer different uh, expertise uh, uh, specialization in the um, uh, graduate level as well. So a lot of our students continue uh, graduate level. So if you go uh, for the BSc, you can work as a kinesiologist and every year the profession of kinesiologist becomes more and more uh, recognized and, and uh, we have more and more demand for the kinesiology program, as I was mentioning. Uh, you can become personal trainer, you can work in laboratory coordinator, in research, uh, in exercise physiology, but also interestingly, a lot of our BSc students are interested in uh, med school, but on, not, not only in the BSc, also BHK students. It's a really good program to, um, to give you a really good basis for med school and other areas such as uh, physiotherapy. So we have a lot of our students that continue in these, um, in these, uh, these disciplines. So our campus is located in Ottawa. We have a really urban uh, center town campus, very vibrant, and it's the capital city. Uh, we have really a, a good center uh, with a study with wor world leading expert at the School of Human Kinetics. So I was mentioning that we had a new kinesiology option, but also the sport management and intervention community programming are also new, a little newish options. And we have really revamped our programs recently, creating these new options, but also um, developing new courses that are really engaging in new contemporary uh, content. So like international sport management perspectives, New, new courses in aging, you know, with different trends in demographic changes in our societies, um, interdisciplinary cases of professional practice in kinesiology. This is a way more practical courses, giving you uh, real, real life practical examples uh, on the, of the practice of kinesiologists. We have new also trends in molecular exercise physiology, physical ergonomics, um, cognitive ergonomics and entrepreneurship. So really new cutting edge courses that have been really revamping our programs. I mentioned already the international opportunities uh, ex uh, for, for exchanges. So you can see more specifically the, the universities we have agreement with. The Norwegian School of Sports Science in, is in Oslo, Norway. Uh, Australia's University of Technology in Sydney. We have uh, also in French with France, with uh, Université Claude Bernard à Lyon, Université de Nantes et Université Aix Marseille, and the one in uh, as well with, with Belgium. So a lot of inter interesting opportunities. And uh, finally, you can also obviously do the French immersion. Uh, it's all available. You have a lot of people today at the fair that are able to ask any question about funding and possibilities with French immersion. And that's it for now uh, for the presentation. I remind you that I will be at the booth from 3.30 to 5 o'clock. Remember my name, you can come and talk to me. Now I will stop sharing my screen so I'm able to see if there are any questions.